the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there you guys, welcome to the Broadway Campbell 12 YouTube channel, a place for all your comic book and anime reviews. And today I'm doing my review of Like Father, Like Daughter, issue number four. Um... So this is a book by Catherine Kalama. I know I've been doing these reviews for Cat Cat Okama going for a little bit now. Um, there's always been the story of you know this young girl named Cassie and her like relationship with her, her father. You no know, one is invulnerable, and you know her relation and her trying to like um, her finding out she has these superpowers because of him. I like to I guess she probably you know. Get it because of him, and she's trying to learn how to like, you know, use them and control them. Um, and this issue pretty much is a continuation of you know that storyline. Um, beautiful cover here. Like, like I'm talking about the cover for a second. Like, this is like a gorgeous looking cover right here. That, that you can. I love the facial features. I love like the the whole the black background and the way the hair is. Uh, I thought that was really good. I love the way how the way each page feels as well. Like it really feels high quality. Um, the art feels very good. It's 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 a really well done, well made um, comic book. Um, and the story here uh, for this issue is it's pretty good as well. I really uh, it, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, but it's also um, very effective. In storytelling, you know, uh, so in this issue, we're trying to learn about Invulnerable's family life. He's trying, we're trying to learn about his heritage and like learn a little bit more about Invulnerable's past. And so we go and see that he goes and get find his mother, um, who's this young old lady, pretty much. And he tries to ask him about his past and the lot that's going on. She kind of tells him about his past, but when we find out later on that she may have been lying about it. Uh, because these this secret um, dark this dark organization is kind of like trying to tell her like to keep everything a secret and everything, and they find out that that, that, that she was lying. And they want to go and go see her. Um, they end up um, getting caught in a, in a pretty much a shooting, and you know, and vulnerable ends up getting shot, and you now he can't. His power seems to be useless now. It's something that some something that was done to him, uh, apparently, where his powers have like um, dematerialized and he can now be hurt. And um, that's pretty much where like Father Like Daughter issue four ends off. Um, so this was a really good issue, a really really powerful, really strong issue of like Father Like Daughter. I really was very immersed in the storyline that they had going on here. And it was really interesting um, to see, like, like just even like just the scenes where they were just in like the restaurant that were really good, and they were like just chatting. Um, like in here, like I thought that, that dialogue was really nicely done. Um, it kept me wanting to read the next page, and so yeah, that was all very well done. I really enjoyed that aspect of the book. Um. It's overall a really good book. I think you guys will recommend you guys just pick this one up. Um, it's pretty much, it, it, it's, it's not too connected to the other rest of the books either. Um, if I wasn't going to critique, I would say that she should probably um, start adding origin stories since these books come out like so um, randomly, kind of. Uh, I think an origin story would probably help, like at least one page that tells you what happened last issue. Uh, that might help a little bit. But for the most part, this was a really good issue, you guys. And I would highly recommend you guys pick this one up. Um, so, anyway, guys, remember my thoughts on Like Father, Like Daughter, issue number four. Leave in the comments below what you guys thought about Like Father, Like Daughter. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.